Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In today's lesson, we are going to learn generating maps showing spatial distribution in QGIS. We are going to be using spatial interpolation to effect this process. So what is spatial interpolation? Spatial interpolation is the process of using points with known value to estimate value at other points. It can be used to predict unknown values for any geographic point data, such as elevation, rainfall, chemical concentration, and noise levels. The primary use of interpolation is to help users, be they scientists, photographers, engineers, or mathematicians, determine what data might exist outside their collected data. In this exercise, we will use a CSV file that contains sample concentration of different heavy metals, like for example, the mercury, cadmium, arsenic, chromium, thallium, and lead, to generate maps showing spatial distribution of heavy metals in urban soil. So let's get to today's exercise. So we'll open a QGIS. And in my QGIS project, I already have our area of interest that is 34 kilometers squared. And I also have some line data for the rivers that pass within our project area. So we we'll just start off the rivers. Then we need to introduce the data that we have collected from the field. And I already have an Excel file that has all the data that you need for this exercise. There's a sample location, then there is the concentration of mercury, lead, copper, chromium, cadmium, zinc, nickel, acetic, and also we have the longitude and the latitude that are very, very useful for us to be able to introduce this kind of layer into our QGIS project. So I'm going to save this layer as a CSV file. It's currently an Excel file. So I'm going to go to File, Save Us. Then I'm going to save it in our distribution map folder. And I'm going to call it the heavy metal concentration. That is heavy metal. Heavy metal concentration sample. And it's a CSV. So I'm going to click on save. And I can save it in that folder. Then now that I have already created my CSV layer, I'm going to go back to QGIS. And I'm going to introduce this layer into QGIS, into our QGIS project. So I'm going to uh, select layer. I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to add a limited text layer because I'm bringing that delimited text to the CSV file. Then I'm going to browse for where the delimited text layer is. And it's in my distribution map exercise, the heavy metal concentration sample. I'm going to click on it and then click on open. Then I have a preview of how my sample data looks like including the longitude and the latitude. And considering that this is a, it has a coordinates, I'm going to select point coordinate. And by default, it, it pre, pre assigns the X field to longitude and Y field to latitude. If that's not the case for you, just click on the drop down and select the X field longitude and Y field latitude. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the CRS and you can see I'm going to project it according to my project CRS, which is 32737, that is UTM zone 37 North, which is the same as my project CRS down here. So I, if, if, if actually your project CRS, your linear CRS are different, you just need to have the same projection. So after that, I'm going to click on add. Then I'm going to click on close because they have been added. And you can see now, these are the points, the CSV data that we collected in the field, you know, in the region of interest. So I'm going to save this as a permanent layer. To save it as a permanent layer, I'm going to right click on it because it's currently just a CSV file. Then I'm going to export save feature as, and I'm going to save it as an S shape file. You can change it to any other file you like, but I'm going to use the S shape file. So I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to save it in my distribution map exercise folder again. I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to say shape file and I'm going to save them within the shape file folder and I'm going to say this is the heavy metal concentration and I'm still going to use the same uh, uh, projection for my layer and my project and I'm going to say okay and now I have my heavy, heavy metal data concentration chip file. So I'm going to remove this CSV. And I'm going to right click on my layer to see and open the attribute table to see if all my data 
was imported successfully. And you can now see I have my sample location with mercury, lead, copper, chromium, cadmium, zinc, nickel, and arsenic, including the longitudes and latitudes which are in use here. So now that we have our data here, we're going to learn how we're going to create these nice concentration distribution maps for each and every element within our attribute table. So we're going to start with mercury. So the first thing we can do is actually we can actually uh, label them according to the different sample locations. So I'm going to right click on this layer. I'm going to go into properties. Then I'm going to go to labels and I'm going to show all the single labels and I'm going to label them using the sample location. And I'm just going to create a nice buffer. Make sure the text is a dark color. Then uh, placement, I'm going to place it maybe to a distance of maybe say two millimeters away from the point. And I'm going to click on apply, okay. And we have all the sample locations within our area of interest. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a base map. So to introduce a base map, I'm going to go to the HMBS plugin. I'm going to go and select base map. Then I'm going to go and select the Google Satellite or Google Satellite Hybrid because I also want to see the labels within my my data. So I'm going to select that. And the Google Hybrid set is actually loaded very quickly. And you can actually now see the region of interest where I actually collected the data. And uh, it's somewhere around some industrial area in Nairobi, you can see this is an industrial area. So we want to just see the concentration level of the different heavy metals within this area of interest. And to be able to create very nice uh, spatial distribution map, we're going to use a tool called the uh, interpolation tool. So to get the interpolation tool, you can go to the processing, then select the toolbox. And then under the processing toolbox, you can just select interpolation. And you will select, there are several ways of interpolation, but you're going to be using the IDW interpolation. So I'm going to select the IDW interpolation. So we're going to start with the first metal, which is uh, mercury. And uh, the vector layer that we're going to be using in this uh, exercise is the heavy metal concentration data. And it has already been loaded here as our, our vector layer. Then the interpolation attribute is the attribute of mercury. So I'm going to select first the first interpolation attribute, which is mercury. Then I'm going to click on the plus button here to input the layer, green plus. And actually I'm going to be using point, points for my mercury data. You, can, you have a, an option of structure lines and break lines, but you're going to be using points. Then the coefficient distance, I'm going to leave it at two. The extent that we want to make our uh, inter distribution map is, I'm going to use the our project area, which is Nairobi. So I'm going to select the select. I'm going to calculate using our project area, which is Nairobi, project survey area Nairobi. Then I'm going to change the pixel size. Instead of uh, 0 0.1, I'm going to say one for X and uh, one for Y. Then I can save it as a temporary file or I can save it to file. So I'm going to just save it to file somewhere. So I'm going to click on that then click on save to file. Then I'm going to save it in my work folder, create a new folder in my work folder and call it raster because we're going to be uh, generating raster files from these point data. Then I'm going to say this is mercury. Mercury concentration. It's a TIFF file. I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to click on run and wait for the process to run. The task is complete. So I'm going to just look at my results. And you can see I have some results here or the mercury concentration in my area. I can just move it a bit down. And then we're going to do a symbology of this so that you can actually make sense of uh, the kind of data that we have. So I'm going to, uh, it's currently 
just a grayscale. So I'm going to select Mercury and click on it, go to properties. Then under the symbology, I'm going to say single band gray. Instead of a single band grayscale, I'm going to select single band pseudo color. And uh, I'm going to look for a color ramp that I'm going to be using in this exercise. So I'm going to select under my color ramps here. And you can see I have a color ramp of concentration that I actually created. I'm going to select that color ramp. And then the labels, I'm going to put them into two decimal places. And then uh, I'm going to let it be continuous. And uh, interpolation first, I'm going to use instead of uh, linear, I'm going to, I'm actually going to use linear for the first uh, kind of uh, analysis. And then I'm going to click on apply. And okay, and you can now see the highest concentration, which is red in color, uh, in these regions here, and the lowest concentration, which is blue in color of mercury, are in these regions here. I can even introduce the rivers, and you can actually see actually, this is where the rivers pass, and there's low concentration of mercury in these areas. And this area, being an industrial area, maybe might have been the contributing factor. To having high concentrations of mercury here we are going to do the concentration of all the other metals but heavy metals but before you do that i'm going to just change something in my style here in my symbology here so that you can actually look at and see what will actually suit our analysis so i'm going to go to open to the properties again then instead of interpolation being linear i'm going to select and say i want interpolation to be discrete and i want everything else to remain the same then I'm going to click on apply, okay? And now this is how the discrete looks like. You can actually see there's less than 0 0.8 and there's the greater than 2.4 as the highest. So depending on how you want to view your results, it is up to you to decide if you want to use the discrete or you want to use the uh, linear. So I'm going to do that for all the other heavy metals using the same, same, uh, procedure and then we're going to create uh, different kinds of maps and be able to just look at the, uh, the different special distribution maps. So I'm going to go to the next uh, metal which is, uh, let me just look at the attribute table. So I'm going to go to lead and I'm going to do that for all these other kinds of heavy metals. So I'm going to go to lead now. I'm going to open uh, I'm going to uncheck Mercury. Then I'm going to go to the interpolation again, LEW interpolation. Then I'm still using the heavy metals concentration data. Then I'm going now to select lead. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click uh, the green plus button to add it in uh, the vector, to add in the vector layer and its points. Then the coefficient is going to be two. The accent is still going to be the same. I'm going to use the uh, the survey area that is Nairobi. Then I'm going to make the pixels one to one. And then I'm going to now save it as a file in my work folder. I'm going to save it to files. I already have the mercury. I'm going to say this is lead. Concentration. And then I'm going to click, I'm saving, I'm saving it as a tip file. Can save. Then I'm going to click on run.
we are done with the interpolation of all the heavy metal data and we have the results here for all the metals from mercury arsenic nickel zinc cadmium chromium copper and lead 